The Marcuses are officially back in power as Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. takes his oath as the 17th president at noon on Thursday, June 30. It's a homecoming of sorts for the Marcoses, who went on exile 36 years ago after a peaceful people power revolt. In his inaugural speech, Marcos reiterates his campaign message of unity. This is a historic moment for us all. I feel it deep within me. You, the people, have spoken, and it is resounding. When my call for unity started to resonate with you, it did so because it echoed your yearnings, mirrored your sentiments, and expressed your hopes for family, for country, and for a better future. By your vote, you rejected the politics of division. I offended none of my rivals in this campaign. I listened instead to what they were saying. In his speech, the newly elected president pays homage to his father, whose rule was marred by rampant corruption, killings, torture, disappearance of critics, and media oppression. I once knew a man who saw what little had been achieved since independence in a land of people with the greatest potential for achievement, and yet they were poor. But he got it done, sometimes with the needed support, sometimes without. So will it be with his son. You will get no excuses from me. Marcos starts his six-year term facing a host of challenges, from rising inflation and pandemic recovery to balancing relations between competing superpowers, the United States and China. Meantime, former President Rodrigo Duterte is given the traditional departure honors in Malacanang before he finally leaves the palace.